And welcome to the second part of this uh, Epic Games Free Game of the Week review for June 23rd. We have a Game of Thrones board game. So this is a board game you get to play on your computer, you can play with other people online. And of course this is based off the book and the uh, TV show, uh, highly popular and stuff like that. And you know, if you're a fan of this thing, you know the author chopped up the books at the end for rushing it to trying to make it on theaters and uh, I don't know what the hell he was and he just totally screwed up his own storyline and books in the process and the last couple seasons were utter garbage that made no sense and the characters turned all like crazy and stupid or whatever and it was very disappointing at the end of it but yeah this is the game and uh, just like the end of that uh, another uh, cash grab at the end and this is just as disappointing after you go through the tutorial you got challenges and a skirmish in the lobby board and we'll show what this game looks like now and um, all this stuff is uh, basically um, whatever you can add a bot uh, they, these are all bots or something like that I don't know I don't care uh, start your game off uh, so the basic concept of this game is you're trying to win this game um, by collecting, uh, you know, you only have 10 turns and you gotta collect, you know, whatever, as much of these castles as possible. I think you win when you have uh, 10 of them or something like that. And uh, each, you only have like 10 turns to do this game. So this game doesn't get any fulfilling because you can't actually beat everything and kill it. That would have been like, you know, maybe more interesting if you actually conquer the whole place, but you have 10 turns and you can't really conquer the whole place in 10 turns. And you start it off at a random place right here. And you have little things like food and only food that they can supply. And none of these, none of this stuff makes really much sense uh, overall. Um, yeah, you just do the basic stuff, like you go know, place your orders, and you, you, this is locked out for no reason at all. Stuff is missing from it, so you know, it can attack two guys, can move. I guess I can move two guys. Well, let's move you too. Yeah, yay, whoop to do that day, and this guy can't move anymore, so he's not going to be doing anything. I thought I clicked this one already. Oh, I gotta cancel his orders. No, I didn't want this guy to move. I want you to just do support. So yeah, after the tutorial, you have all these things. I want you to actually move. You have things like you can gain power, uh, your your influence points and stuff like that that you need. Or oh, you can do raid orders, and you got your marches, and you have you know defenses, and you don't really get your troops unless you have supplies. And then um, if you don't have supplies, you don't have troops, and then you don't really do anything besides uh, move your guys around and try and uh, take control of more stuff than the other guy has. It's uh, kind of not really neat, so we can just do that and confirm my orders. So I'll show you how this game, game works in a basic formation. And here comes the boring part. You have all these other players here, and then you have to wait for them to go. And I hope this isn't an actually real, real players, but yeah, looks like it's not. But yeah, you just have to wait for them to all go. And so this is the boring part, because as you see, it's kind of slow, and I was going to attack that place, but he got there. And you can attack these guys, and then you have cards, and you play these uh, your cards that have uh, little effects, and then it's you know your power versus their power at the end. It's just, it's just a meh game. It doesn't have since it's only last ten turns, and you don't really get to fulfill much. You can see it's going, and okay, there's a combat. There we go. This, this isn't me going it. This is them going it, and this is the cards they played. And you can see who wins and who loses right there. And then you have all these other things right here. You get Iron Throne uh, and uh, Fiefdom and King's Core. These are all extra things that you use your crowns for to gain, you know, to gain favors. Like you know, you win draws and crap like that. It's just, it's, it's it, it could have been an okay maybe game and standard, but you know, the, the playthrough is just boring and slow. Um, if you want a boring and slow game, then you go for it. But yeah, so I'll do a combat right here. I want this place here, and this guy's like, you know, um, this guy's got a negative one. But yeah, I'll just go there and attack on a one on one basis right there, and I'll show you. Do you want to, yeah, uh, keep up, keep on this place right here? Well, this place right here has no uh, bonuses that I see. Well, yeah, it only has a crown bonus, so yeah, I might as well keep, use a crown to keep control of that. And there's a combat. So you don't get to see what cards they're going to use. You have to randomly pick one. And uh, this, this house cards basically suck. Uh, move them where you want to move them. I'll just how about use this guy. How about use the best guy? Destroy the uh, destroy the one. Uh, uh, destroy his footman if I win. So we will use my best card and kill his footman off, and that'd be good. That'll piss him off. Yeah. So it's hard to kill the guys off in this game because if you lose a guy, they just run away back to the other troop, and then you got to fight him again at the same time. So you don't really lose your troops very often because you, if you lose them, they go to the next town. So now it's their turn. You do one combat 
round at a time, and then you have to wait for them to go and do their stuff before I can move my other troops around um, and stuff like that. So this is this is the game. This is what it looks like. It's just you know, use a game like this and uh, use the Game of Thrones name and uh, produce the, you know the uh, crappy, boring stuff that you can and play it for whatever reason. You might want to try it out for. Uh, this game is going to get another uh, 1 out of 10 because, uh, yeah, cash grab games that are pretty much boring and dumb uh, don't do anything for me. And this is kind of not really interesting. We'll just move you, take you over, and then we'll take you, and then uh, what are we going to do? Uh, take a supply here and there? Yeah, we'll take this place here. Get the boat go over here, and then we'll take this for supplies. Maybe kill that guy next turn or something like that and take the castles, which are better. Uh, if you want to play this, but yeah, it's just a basic strategies, and um, uh, that's it. One out of ten. Uh, if, if you want to play a board game they haven't played yet before, you can try this. And here's some other crap, whatever. Opponents are uh, mustering units, so everybody else gets to do units, and then uh, most of the time when I try and play, is that they all get to do units, and then you don't get to do any units at all. And it was kind of stupid. I had the whole game with 10, 10, 10 rounds, and I never got to recruit any units. Let's see if I get to do this. Time. Do I get a turn? Like, you know, this is like waiting. Everybody else is going to summon units off all their units every single turn. Oh, I get to go. Thank you. Gee, awesome. So, yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, I think the, f the food is there. And I'm just going to screw that up there. I'll, I'll try. I'll see what I can do. Um, siege engines. No, I'll do another knight here. And uh, since I took over this castle and I have no more knights, I can upgrade to a knight. And I might as well do that instead. So I guess I ran out of food or something. I can't support any more guys. And, yeah, this is the part right here. I'll show you. You can submit bids and you got to use your crowns and, uh, you know, you got to try and win the bids for whatever it is. And, like, you know. Well, wow, could have won that one easily, but yeah, who cares? Position on the throne type stuff, but that's the game. Uh, this is it, and you got 10 turns of this crap and uh, until you win or lose. And if you have the most stuff, you win, and then if you don't, you lose. Uh, basic, stupid, dumb, 1 out of 10. I'll see you next week. Maybe next week they'll have something uh, interesting to play uh, or interesting to play or whatever. Yeah, whatever. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.